Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Crazy Motorbike, and in this, we control this motocross driver, and we have to get through an obstacle course. Just like a lot of the games that I've played here on lag, it's a really cool concept, it's one of my favorite types of games where you get to take a bike, you get to fly around like ramps and over platforms and obstacles and things like that, and the the entire time you just try not to explode yourself so anyway let's go ahead let's get started with crazy motor bike all right so it looks like there are uh, 15 different levels that we can do here and they all have three stars so I'm guessing it's based on time and maybe how many attempts I do I don't know let's jump in let's find out okay so to go well look at our little guy he's awesome all right to go we got to go oh yeah all right okay and then we can Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> I was gonna say, holy cow. All right, we get some like speed so quick here. I'm still taking all this in. This is a really, I really like this art style. Oh no. Did I seriously get stuck already? Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. All right, we got through. So that was the hill that killed us before. So you gotta go a little bit slow. So maybe time doesn't matter. Maybe just getting all three of the stars gives you all three of the stars for the level. It looks like that's the way. All right, that's fine by me because I'm going to have to take some time to do this. This is tough. This is the type of game that has like a lot of uh, patience involved, a lot of finesse. If you're not someone who's good with finesse, with, with taking your time, like here on this bridge, if you go over that fast or even that little rock right there, you might slam your helmet onto the ground and explode and die. Fortunately, that wasn't the case there. We're just waiting here as the next level loads in. But god dang, this game's fun already. I like these types of games a lot. I like the cartoony style. I like uh, everything that's going on here. So, uh, yeah, let's get moving. All right, boom, boom. Looks like it robbed us of our music, but that's okay. We still have the, the cool sounds of the motorbike going here. All right, oh my God, who built all of these courses? It looks like we're in like Egypt or something with all the pyramids, but who's making these rickety wooden bridges? Come on, there's some bikers out here. You gotta make it safe for us too, right? Anyway, my guy doesn't seem like he's bugged too much here. Oh boy, uh, this is even though he's literally just one collision away from exploding. He's doing okay. He's doing okay. I like this game a lot though because it's really quick. It's very very easy to pick up another one of those like awesome arcade style games that you guys know that I love that are easy to pick up but they're very very hard to master. I, I do like that there's not like a time limit on this one though. There's a, a couple of these that I played. Oh no I missed it. No. Oh I need that star. Can I go back up? No I gotta hit the restart button. Gotta hit the restart button. Oh man, you know, I, you, like you guys know I have to get all three stars. That's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes. But there's a couple of these that I played where it's just like there's this time limit and you have to like fly through the course fast enough while also getting like stars or, or making sure that you're not hitting an obstacle that's going to make you explode. And those ones are so stressful. This one's actually like kind of a little bit more casual. It's a little bit nicer for those of us who do not like when our motorbikes are too crazy. This should be called like just crazy enough motorbike. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I died. I exploded. It was fortunately only the second time. I Right? That was only the second time, maybe the third time that I exploded. So I'm feeling pretty confident about my skills in this one. It's a little bit easier to uh, control this motorbike compared to some of the other ones that I've driven in these games. Now, as I say it, this ramp's going to be my the bane of my existence. Oh, I got it with the back tire. Oh, awesome. Way to go, crazy motorbike. But this isn't too crazy motorbike. It's just crazy enough motorbike. I like that a lot. Oh, man. All right, got to even out. So when you start going over those ramps, the best thing to do is to hit the hit the back button, the, the brake, to make sure that you sort of level out as you're in midair. Otherwise, you take the nosedive, and that's when you explode and you die. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to die. I don't know what level I'm on, but I feel like I'm, I'm making some pretty decent progress. Oh, my God. Sir, why would you choose to drive down this particular path? Oh, no. I missed another star. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we beat the system we can't gotta restart gotta restart especially due to the fact that there's no time limit there's no excuses for me to miss stars there's no excuses i gotta just get through these yep there we go just like that oh oh no 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 no! i got all three stars and i still exploded no come on man come on i'm trying to get these stars for you 
trying to get stars for you so that you save face so people go that's the craziest motor biker in the world he's the one who went to ancient egypt he's the one who who managed to drive down the ancient pathways oh my gosh that was so close uh and he's the one who got all the stars along the way because he's the craziest of the motor bikers oh my god yeah there you go buddy there you go you got it awesome very cool so we'll let this next level load in but man we're doing okay here we're doing all right this is the type of game that i definitely needed to play today you know what there's some days where i'm like i'm not that good of a gamer I, I i don't feel that confident about my gaming skills this is a game that's just casual enough to to make it easy for me to play oh god <laughs> hit that rock real hard there <laughs> but it's it's also uh it's also challenging enough that my achievements don't feel weak sauce oh no i missed oh my gosh those stars that are on the bottom of the ah oh, that are on the bottom of those ramps those are the hardest freaking things in the world okay uh all right no i think we got caught on the rock Oh, can we do the full? <laughs> I was going to say, can we just front flip over it? That would have been so great if we could have just front flipped over it. So we need to do that. Oh my gosh. No, we caught too much air. We caught too much air. We we're going a little bit too crazy there. So it does get a little bit harder as it goes on. This game is definitely decently challenging as far as these motorbike games go. Oh my gosh, this rock, this one stupid little rock, this stupid rock. Oh my gosh, this is what's going to mess me up. That's what's gonna mess me up. There's no excuse to miss these stars. There's no excuse for me to miss these stars. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Even out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take it slow, buddy. Take it slow. I know you're wearing a helmet. Good biker safety. But at the same time, man, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you're, oh boy. You gotta make sure that you're uh, not crashing because crashing is what causes the death. And we don't want the death. No, how do you get over that one? That one's humongous. That rock, most challenging obstacle I've faced yet in the game. Oh my gosh, that is actually hard. That is tough. Man, oh man. Okay, so I was sitting here, I was like, oh man, this game is the most casual one yet. But maybe I was wrong, guys. Maybe I was the fool all along. Maybe I'm the one who didn't realize that that crazy motorbike was gonna go from nice and chill to lull me into a false sense of security to craziest motorbike so fast. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I missed the freaking star. No. <laughs> and that rock, my nemesis. Can you guys imagine? Can you guys imagine your nemesis in life is a rock? That's what just, that's that's what's been going on in this level. I gotta keep, I gotta keep going for these stars. All right, this is the one. If I don't get all the stars on this one and survive the level, then this is the one where I'm just gonna go. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I have to just go. I, I can't let this be the rest of my life trying to just beat this one level with the same amount, with the amount of stars I need. The, with the, all the stars, I can't. You can't get over that without some, some hefty speed. All right. All right, this is the one where I go, oh my gosh. <laughs> yep, this is the one where I go, oh my gosh. That's that's what it is. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, howdy. No, the back tire, I, I thought that it was gonna hit it. I guess not. All right, now, oh, crazy motorbike. You did the craziest crazy flip. Oh my gosh, there's more rocks in that one? I'm, I'm moving, I'm moving on, I'm moving on. That's fine. I don't need all the stars. I do not need all the stars. I actually, out of curiosity, how far am I in this game? Oh. Oh, guys, that's a nice touch. Never mind. It did give me three stars because I think even when you die on previous runs or you have to restart on previous runs, it still gives you credit for the stars that you've already touched before. So I don't technically need to get all the stars, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it glitched in my favor. I have no idea. But guys, that is only level eight. That was only level eight. Oh my gosh, this game is, is giving me some trouble. Our music's back, though. Get me hyped. Get me pumped up. I guess all you have to do if your music goes away is just go back to the menu, guys, and then you'll get it again. I missed a star. I missed a star, and it was a pretty easy one, too, so I have to get that one. We're not even two-thirds of the way through this game, then. We are not even two-thirds of the way through this game. This is just a very difficult game. Uh, after I was talking junk on it, saying, oh, yeah, no, this is casual motorbike. No, it's not. It's crazy motorbike. It earned its title. 
it's one of those games that definitely is going to challenge you quite a bit. I'm enjoying it a lot. I am actually really enjoying this game. This is a very cool game so far. Super fun, easy to pick up mechanics. But again, you guys see these courses, you see these obstacles. It's getting tough out here for a biker. That's all I got to say. So if we go back to the yep, level select, we'll always get us our, our grooving tunes back, which makes me feel happy. I'm happy about those tunes. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Star number one, star number two. Oh no, <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. I, I'm too curious though to see what the rest of this level looks like. All right, only two stars that time. Only two stars. That's such a bummer. That is such a bummer. That is such a bummer. But there you guys go. That's the first 10 levels of crazy motorbike if you are someone who thinks that you can rise up to the challenge of getting all three stars on all 15 levels then good luck you're gonna need it this game is hard but it's a lot of fun i really enjoyed this a lot and hopefully you guys enjoyed my gameplay of it if you did please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye